That was the most nervous last three minutes in ever I've ever had, I think. I knew I had to speed because the wave had a big wall on it. And I knew if I'd come out, I'd have a big score. So, I mean, it's just when I came out, I was, it was a dream. That form again that he's had from the last year, you've got to come out if you want those big scores. Jeremy's going to take his first wave into the wind, locks in the takeoff, great pump. Beautiful line, wave spits him out. Jeremy Flores starts off with a bang to take the lead off Medina. Gabriel on the next one, air drops, pulls the landing but ends up straight off the back. Two incomplete scores for Medina's start and Flores controlling one into the wind. Well, we talk about that backside attack. Jeremy utilizing that ability to be able to slide into the barrel and with the backside you watch his hand one of those hands stay on the rail what that does is it just gives him that extra stability able to keep that board trimming in the right line and if there's any lumps and bumps it gives him that extra point of reference right there up and over the foam ball how did he come out of that that is going to be a great start to the finals for Jeremy Flores on the flip side of the coin Medina falls out of the sky and gets picked up and thrown over the falls that is going to rattle his cage just that little bit. Now, Peter, the score just came through 9.87. What was the? Where did the bulk of the points come from on that wave? Oh, sorry, Pats, I lost you real quick. There's a lot of wind. Yeah. What was the question? It was a 9.87 for Jeremy's yeah. first wave. Well, I, I would think uh, that's a pretty good start, wouldn't you, Pata? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in exact, it, it was, again, just uh, the amount of time he spent in the tube. Um, you know, the, the, the fact that he literally was drifting, he almost did it twice where he wheelied out. I know that you'll get that water angle, and it was a beautiful angle. Can Jeremy make him pay again? Here comes another good wave. So 12 minutes, 20 seconds on the clock. Flores knifes the takeoff. Now into a stall. The way will spit him out. Decides to kick out quickly. Back to back, solid scores for the Frenchman. Now hitting the 12 minute mark, Medina will fade the takeoff. Two arms of the wall, looks back at the tube as he kicks out. Medina is calling this wave one of his favorite venues on tour. After winning it last season over Kelly Slater in all time conditions, he's proved this season it doesn't have to be perfect. He understands the reef, and he's just starting to make his comeback. Definite step in the right direction, but Jeremy as well. I think those two ways are very similar. Jeremy falls out of the sky, grabs the rail, slows himself down, and comes out with the spit. So that was a great one there. You can hear the crowd in the channel giving Jeremy support. Beautiful vision here from the channel, as you can see Jeremy trying to stay in there as long as possible. Not as good as his opening wave, but a great backup. Medina slides into it as well. A little bit of a different technique, looks back into the tube. As if to say, yep, that one felt good. You can see right there, positioning so important right here at this incredible wave called Chopu. Two very similar scores I think will be locked in. Medina had to wait a long time for his comeback roll. That he did. Nine and a half minutes remaining. Medina having a look at this one. Jeremy with priority decides to let Medina go. Nice and deep. Medina locks in. It's going to be a tight clamping barrel. The red jersey still showing for just a moment until he gets clipped. A wise decision for Flores to let Medina roll the dice on that way. Yeah, Jeremy's a smart competitor out here. Knows exactly what he's got to do. Knows exactly the kind of waves he's looking for. A 7.0 Joe on wave number two puts Medina in a combo situation. Medina needs two waves of a total of 16.88. We're still waiting for Gabriel Medina's last wave. The wave before this last one here, you can see Medina takes off deep, drives up nice and tight, dragging those hands again, but that end section there just folding down, providing no exit on that occasion. Scores now starting to come in from the last exchange. Flores gets a 7.0, and just a touch better was Medina's a 7.17. Like you thought, Potts, very similar scores, almost exactly the same from regular to goofy. Flora is still out front, and Medina still needs a 9.71 to make a comeback. Both these surfers fighting for a seventh place position on the leaderboard. That's what Jeremy will be, or Medina will be, if they win this matchup. Nice flow and rhythm. 
in the pit for Medina. It clamps shut, but he's able to pop out ahead of it. He'll get rid of a 1.5. That he will. A 9.71 required. It's not going to be a 9.71. But this is what Medina does. He just gets busy. Just keeps repositioning himself in the lineup. Keeps catching waves. Trying to kind of ruffle the feathers of Jeremy Flores. Jeremy at this stage not buying into it. You can see him sitting very patiently. Focused on the ocean out there. Keeping an eye on what's going on. Medina drives through that first section, comes through, clamps a little bit and fights his way through that end. So a nice little wave will replace his second highest score. But now a critical time in this matchup. Scores are coming through for Medina. Last year's event champ needed a 9.71, turns it into a 6.03. Still needs a 9.71 to make his comeback without priority. Well, Gabriel Medina's leaving the lineup almost, battling up the reef. Getting a lot of distance off Flores. We need a dozen out first priority. So he needs to get some space to himself. We're supposed to have this kind of reinforcing south swell angle. And it looks like he's hoping for something to come from really deep up the reef here, Potts. Just, you know, the story of, of uh, Jeremy Flores turning it around. Here we go, Medina. This wave will help Medina reposition now. Right back next to Jeremy Flores that move up the reef. Didn't help him out. You can see him right next to Jeremy. And it looks like the boys will just talk over this final. Medina now starting to paddle towards the channel. We're into the countdown and it is official. Jeremy Flores is your 2015 Billabong Pro Tahiti Champion. Wow. Water Patrol gets him quickly on the back of the ski. And the Frenchman will celebrate his second ever championship tour victory. Aloha, good morning, and welcome to the North Shore of Oahu. This is the morning of round four, and it comes down to the final two. John John Florence and Gabriel Medina fighting for a world title. Florence, back door. Perfect positioning. Bonus section to come out. Beautiful looking wave, guy tucks in, drags that body and gets down, and he loves that feeling. Wow, Jeremy Flores. Bit of a speed hump for Medina, he's gonna have to fight his way through round five, keep that world title dream alive. No Igarashi, he out position Kelly Slater. Beautiful long barrel for Kanoe Igarashi. Wilson needs to make this way to get the lead. Driving through oh. the end section. Medina in a must-win situation to keep his world title hopes alive. Medina just slides his way into this one. Rolling through it, a bit of foam on the face. No dramas for Medina. He dropped an 8.9 on his first wave. He's backed it up well here. Boys, what is going on in Milana? Back to you. It's time for the quarterfinals. We're down to the final eight. Deep in back door, Florence locks in. Perfect read. Florence comes fitting out of the pit. And more on the way for John John. Slides in under the hood. And he'll just lay one down for the crowd. This is what we've been here to watch. Jeremy Flores got things started against Gabriel Medina, who's out there now fighting to keep his world title dreams alive. Jeremy Flores causes a big upset here, and John John Florence, as a result, is a back-to-back -back world champion. The semi-finals are set. Ian Gabea and John Florence out there at the moment. Just over a minute to go. John Florence tucks in. He's deep inside this barrel. Can he find his way through? He does. And he is into the final of the Billabong Pipe Masters. Beautiful cavern. Still has some room to move. Oh. Flores is going for his second title at Pipe as he will join John John Florence in the final. Flores is coming down to this. Nice and deep. Great positioning over the phone. Oh. Jeremy Flores steals the Pipe Masters off John John Flores. Oh. 